How many fatalities and accidents did you just say that Tesla cars have had? We'll answer that question in 30 seconds, but first, click the link below, get your free AI resource. The resource is free and will help you prepare for an AI-dominated career. Also, please subscribe or like and share these videos. We need your help to spread the word on this channel. Also, support us on Patreon. Even a dollar a month makes a difference for us, so please do it. And thanks so much for tuning in to the AI Guide, where we are focusing on the human impact of AI by making AI human. So we have a great video today. There was an article two days ago in the Washington Post about the dangers of Tesla autopilot and full self-driving. They said that in the last four years, there have been 17 fatalities and 736 crashes. The article suggests that Tesla autonomy is dangerous and should be banned. Well, before we overreact, let's break down the facts underlying this story. As my viewers know, I am a facts guy, having spent most of my career analyzing data and crunching numbers for companies. So before I even read the story, I knew I had to jump in on this one. Self-driving will be regulated by NHTSA, which we've talked about before. This is the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. They should take a hard look at self-driving, which they're doing. Based on everything that I have ever read about NHTSA, they're interested in facts also. They want to get to the truth. Well, it turns out that Tesla started rolling out FSD, or full self-driving, to all their customers in 2022. Before 2022, it was, its availability was quite limited to like 22,000 cars or something like that. They talked to Elon Musk about why he was broadly rolling it out, FSD, and he said what you would expect. First, he says that self-driving is safer than humans. And second, he says that the best way to train an algorithm is to massively increase the data set, which you do by rolling it out to everyone so that the system gets millions of miles a month of live driving data. I mean, that's huge every month. So let's take a look at Elon Musk's two claims for accuracy. It's interesting that in this article, they cite that there are about 40,000 fatalities a year in cars in general versus the cited 17 for Tesla's four years. Not comparable numbers. But is that a fair comparison? No. The fair comparison is what percentage of cars on the road today are Teslas with FSD? And this article says there's about 400,000 Teslas right now with FSD on the road. From what I found, there are more than 286 million cars on the road in the U.S. today. So that's 400,000 divided by 286 million, which is... 0.4% of all vehicles on the road today are Teslas with FSD, less than, way less than 1%. Then if we multiply the 40,000 annual fatalities by 0.4%, you get about 59 fatalities a year on a comparable basis. So the valid comparison is 17 versus 59. On that basis, there's really no comparison, right? Human drivers cause over three times more accidents than FSD does when you make the numbers comparable. So human drivers are three times worse. Score one for Elon. Elon's second claim is that more data will improve the algorithm. The problem with this claim is that you can only evaluate it in the future. How's that? Well, we have to see over the next four years if Tesla's using FSD have fewer than 14 fatal sorry, 17 fatalities. If they do, then he's right. If the number is 
less than 17, he's right. But we have to wait and see. It's indisputable, though, that the more data an algorithm has to learn from, the better the algorithm works. AI is basically nothing more than a prediction mechanism. It takes a current event and compares it to tons of data on past events and determines what is happening now based on that tons of data on past events. So the more data, the more accurate the prediction. There may be a limit to the utility of more data, but no one knows what that limit is yet, so it's not even worth thinking about. With this in mind, every major car company today is doing the same thing right now, except that all of the other companies are at Tesla autopilot stage, which is freeway only. It's on-ramp to off-ramp, rather than FSD or full self-driving. But they are all using millions of miles fed into their system right now to get better and better, just like Tesla. So with all of that said, I give temporary credit to Elon's second claim, pending seeing the actual results on FSD fatalities four years from now. Then what does all of this mean? Here's my opinion based on statistics. If you believe in facts, FSD is better hands down by at least three times and probably way more than that. Will FSD continue to have accidents? Yes, it will, because human drivers do random, unexpected, even stupid things. Will FSD ever be perfect with a multi-billion miles driven data set? Probably not even then. Does that matter? No, it doesn't. If it's safer, it's safer. Then all that is left to figure out is a fair way to compensate someone involved in an extremely rare fatal accident. So right now, I read this number a couple of years ago, but it said like the average American death has compensated something like $40,000, which is, you know, one year of earnings. It's, it's nothing. Maybe five million is a fair number. That's way more than the median person's lifetime earnings. Whatever the number is, if I compare an, a four-year accident total of 736 accidents blamed on autonomy versus a total of 160,000 deaths, that's deaths, much less 6 million accidents a year times four or 24 million accidents over four years versus 736. That's all I need to know. It's really clear that self-driving cars are not dangerous compared to the maniacs that I see on the road every week commuting to and from work, zipping across four lanes of traffic. Thanks so much for tuning in. Click the resource link below and please subscribe. We're getting very close to the magic 1,000 subscriber mark and we need your help. Also, like and share these videos and support us on Patreon. See you next episode. Take care. Bye.